Discipline is key to life. If you're not disciplined, you won't have anything that you want in life. Let's say you got to do a hard step to life and you want to get into fitness every single day in 2024. But if you're not disciplined, that's not going to happen because you're not going to be motivated every single day to do what you want to do. So you got to push through it with discipline and say, no matter what, if I'm not motivated, I'm still going to hit the gym in 2024. That's how you stay disciplined in what you want to do and take action every single day. Don't depend on motivation. Motivation does not last at all. One day you can be motivated to get better. And the next day you're fiending for chips, which is not going to help you towards your goals. So you got to be disciplined and put the chips to the side and be like, I'm not going to eat those chips, dog. It's not good for you, and it's not going to make you better if you're not staying disciplined. How to build discipline? You got to be practicing it every single day. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect at life. That's why you got to practice on how to get better every single day. Sometimes you're going to mess up, and you're going to learn from that, but you can ultimately get better every single day if you could actually learn and take new steps every single day and what you want to do. Because the simple fact is you're going to have mess ups. You're going to have slip ups. You, you might eat a piece of chocolate one day and you're going to, you're going to feel bad after you eat that. In the moment you might feel good, but after you eat that chocolate, you're going to be like, damn, why, why would I do that when I've been staying disciplined every single day? And it's just a learning fact of what you need to actually do. And you got to remember, the hard thing is what is going to actually make you happy. Staying hard and not doing the cheap stuff, not doing like pleasurable stuff is going to actually make you happy. Once you actually realize that, then you can take a whole nother step to a whole nother journey and a whole nother, whole nother place to your mind, which you're going to have ultimate peace with yourself and getting better with yourself every single day. Hey, I'm not going to lie, we all have setbacks, but you got to learn from the setbacks and ultimately just grow from it. It's all about growth. It's all about learning. You're not going to get life in one day. You're not going to get life in 10 years. You got a whole bunch of life ahead of you, so you just got to relax, sit back, and enjoy the journey and enjoy you putting in the hard work every single day because you're going to actually get pleasure from hard work. Real pleasure is not good for you, but hard work pleasure is actually good for you because you're getting hard times, you're going through hard stuff in the moment. So in the future, you can actually be peaceful, have a good body, have a good mind, have a good family, have money that you actually work for and actually put the hard times in for. Because if you're getting cheap money, ultimately, you're not going to be happy with the cheap money anyways. If you actually worked for it, you're actually going to like what you have. And you're going to be like, damn, I actually put the work in for this thing. So I actually appreciate it, appreciate it more than if you got it for cheap or if you got it knowing that you could have did better. So you might as well go 100% anyways, knowing that it's going to feel better once you do 100%. And if you're on 50%, then you're, you're going to feel less than 50 inside your mind, inside your body. This is why you got to put 110% every single day. This is why I love helping you guys out, giving you my wisdom, because I'm a young, smart man, which I'm giving that to God from above. He gave me these blessings, which I need a blessing on other people and tell them how to live and give them the right path every single day. And all you got to do is find the right people to hang around in your environment. That's a big thing, your environment, too. If your friends aren't disciplined, then you're not going to be disciplined. If your friends eat at McDonald's, then you're probably going to eat the McDonald's with them because it's going to make you feel less bad because your friend is eating McDonald's and shit food. If your friend's sleeping in, then you're going to sleep in because you're not going to feel as bad because you slept in. It's your environment, too, dog. It's everything around you. Life is a mirror, not a window. So whatever you are is what you're going to see in your reality. That's what you got to realize. If you're doing hard stuff, 
life might seem hard, but ultimately it's going to be real easy for you if you're doing the hard stuff. I got my tea right here. Yes, sir. But if you're not doing hard stuff, then life's going to be easy, but you're actually going to be living a miserable life. Because if, if it comes easy, then you're not going to appreciate whatever you have. Let's say, boom, McDonald's comes easy. It's cheap. It comes easy. So you're not going to be as happy. You're not going to really appreciate what you're putting in your body because it's cheap. It's cheap money. It's fake food. It's going to have you feeling like shit anyways. So you might as well push that thing to the side and be disciplined and actually eat what is like good for you and what most people don't eat. It's the right food, meats, fruits, vegetables. Eat that every single day. And once you start eating it, once you start getting momentum, you're going to realize that that stuff actually tastes way better than any McDonald's, any candy that you ever ate. Like, trust me. I ate a cookie the other day. It did not taste good at all. Maybe in the moment it might taste a little bit good, but it, but after you're going to feel like shit. So you got to stay disciplined every single day. It's a learning experience. You take it day by day. It's not just, boom, you're disciplined for a year and it's already over. No, you're working on that shit every single day. It does not end. But that's what's the good thing about it because you're practicing something every single day and you're learning every single day. So life is a blessing. Life is good. You just got to think about it in that way. If you're thinking about it in a perspective of, oh, it is hard. Life is miserable. I, I got to be so disciplined then your life is going to be shit. But if you really appreciate it and you appreciate the discipline and everything that you have, then that's how life is actually going to be good for you because you're doing the hard stuff and you actually get to appreciate what you have because you're actually putting in the work. But if you're not putting in the work and you're being fucking lazy and you're sleeping in, you're eating McDonald's, you're eating shit food, life is coming so easy for you. You're gonna, your life is going to be miserable. That's why you got to do the hard stuff Every single day, I'm putting you guys on. You wonder why I'm so happy every day? You wonder why I have a bright mood where I can help people out? Because I'm doing the hard shit in the morning. I'm getting my shit done every single day so I can actually help other people out and help other people find their journey because this is what I actually like doing. And once you find your purpose and your passion and you stay disciplined every single day on what you're doing, then boom, you're already set. And work on it every single day. It does not even stop. It doesn't stop once you find the purpose. The purpose is staying with the purpose and staying disciplined with everything you do. This is why discipline is key. And I'm talking with you guys about it. Because if you're not disciplined, you're not going to be able to get shit done in life. Every single day, dog, work on your craft. Work on how you can get better. And do the hard stuff every single day. And stay disciplined with it. Don't cheat yourself for some quick gratifications. It's not good. It's not good for you, dog. Trust me. You're not going to feel better after eating the shit food. After playing the quick video games. You're going to have fun putting your head down. Going on a walk. Because it's hard. You'll be with yourself. You'll be in your mind which is also like meditating. Who doesn't want to be meditating with themselves? And you can actually learn who you are. But if you got a whole bunch of distractions in front of you, you're not going to know who you actually are. That's why you got anxiety. That's why you're stressed out. That's why you're sleeping in. So ultimately, you should do the hard stuff. You're going to learn a lot about yourself and a lot about the people around you and your families, your friends. And you're going to see who is doing the hard stuff and who is not. And you'll see where their mental states are. And you'll see if they're sad. You'll see if they're depressed. You'll see if they have anxiety. It's because what they do in real life. Life is a mirror, not a window. So if you're doing the hard stuff, then you'll, be, you'll have pleasure out through the day once you get to chill a little bit, do your work, because you already did the hard stuff. And you already stayed disciplined. And that's going to ultimately make your life better. It's going to make you happier, dog. It's that simple. I hope you guys take this video in the right way and learn discipline every single day and do the hard stuff 
and become the best version of yourself in 2024, dog. Keep your head up every single day. Keep pushing. I'm here with you. I'm your older brother. Just text me in the comments, and I'll put you guys on. If you got any questions, bro, we're going to be blown up in 2024. It's that simple. 100K on the way. We're going to the top. If you're not re trying to go to the top, what's the point of even trying anyways? You know what I'm saying? We're on a life to become the best version of ourselves. So you guys have a great day. Keep your head up every single day. I love all you guys. 